Okay, well, you know, Shark Point is about uh, my daddy and my mother. I mean, it uses them as characters and about life in the Everglades and how it goes. And uh, I had written a short story that showed where my daddy was killed, and he actually was uh, killed and, uh, before I was born. And then my daughter, Karen, asked the question, what if? What if? What if he had lived? Okay. I brought up the story then of uh, Shark Point. And according to the Shark Point story, well, I won't tell you the story. You better read the story. Yeah, so. All right, the best I can tell, and again, um, he was killed before I was born. And he and his cousin went trapping, hunting, and never came back. And they didn't find any bodies, and my grandfather was a deputy sheriff in uh, Monroe County, I think it was at the time. And they all, they went down there trying to find something, and they couldn't do any, couldn't find anything. And uh, and some many years later, someone in a bar room admitted that they had killed my daddy and his cousin Robert. Well, they tell me that he was a very very smart man. And, you know, they lived down in the Everglades, of course, and uh, uh, they, they brought teachers down there to teach the young kids, and at one point the teacher said, I can't teach him anymore. I mean, he was just that smart. And, and he came up with uh, these um, inventions, like the trap, that, and of course back in those days they trapped coons and things like that. And, the coon would bite their leg off and and get out of the trap, and uh, he built a thing that uh, that forbid them from biting their leg off. In other words, it covered their whole leg up or something like that. And another thing, he did something with uh, automobiles, and I can't remember exactly what it was now, but he had it had to do with the timing, because uh, back in those days, the old engines of the cars wouldn't stay timed right or something, and he invented something that would time that and sent it in, supposedly, the idea in to, uh, to uh, some lawyers in Fort Myers or something, and supposedly, according to the word I hear, they stole it from him. But I mean, he was just that kind of a guy. He, his mind, when he was a very, very smart guy, and he was only 28 years old when he was killed. So yeah, there was a great opportunity there, but he... Shark Point is, tells about life in the Everglades and, and what it was like, generally speaking. It tells, gives more history of Florida, too, uh, but basically that's what it's about, life in the Everglades. And Free at Last is uh, about a slave that's set free, and he wanders through uh, Florida history quite a bit of Florida history, and on down into Key West history, etc., etc. But it's about his life, freedom, he's searching for freedom.